What's up guys, it's William Slates from TBR Suspension. I've got here the 2024 close cartridge forks that come on the XC range, um, on the KTM's, Gaz Gaz and Husqvarna's. Whether they're gonna come out like this on the Enduro range, we already know that the motocross range is coming with air forks, which is, which is in my opinion still a good thing. Lots of guys like the air forks over the, the conventional spring forks. So that's personal preference, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna compare them against the 6500 cartridges. What are, what are the differences there, how they work, and give you guys a little bit more insight to what you guys essentially are buying. On your actual cartridge, you can see they're both closed cartridge systems. Uh, your 6500 and your cone valve assemblies come with an external preload adjuster, whereas your closed cartridge forks that are coming standard on the bikes don't have one of those. It's not the end of the world. It is a nice feature to have, however, but it's a lot better than what we've got in the past. Here we've got the mid valve assemblies. You can see that they're quite similar, however, they, their function's actually quite, quite different. Uh, on your cone valves and your 6500s, uh, WP in the past, they've always used delta shims to help oil flow. And on your standard forks now, they use round regular shims and they have gone to a taller piston to help with that oil flow and you we're working with a trampoline shim stack on your compression whereas over here it's just a spring preloaded shim stack um on your older generation forks but very similar however they will feel very different on the base valve assembly um the first thing that you'll notice is you've got your hand your clicker that you can adjust by hand which is a nice add-on that we do um but now it comes standard which is really cool um, as to your, you need a flat screwdriver to adjust the compression on the on your cone valves. As far as the base valve is concerned, you can see that the base valve pistons are completely different. The older style allowing more oil flow um, as to the newer style on my left. Um, these actually come out of an air fork, they're identical to an air fork base valve, um, as, as well as the top, the complete top assembly is from an air fork. So one of the only parts is actually fairly similar on both these forks is they, the inner cartridge is both pressurized by an inner cartridge spring, as you can see here. And the, the IFP on both are, are very different. These run guide bushings, this just runs a classic um, IFP with the, with the O-ring. But yes, these are interchangeable springs, which is nice. It's a nice feature to, to play with. So guys, to pretty much sum things up, the new forks, it's been a long time coming that um, WP have done something like this, coming out stock on the on the bikes. They are not 6500 cartridges and they are not WP cone valves, however they are closed cartridge forks, which is a massive benefit um, to you guys who are buying the bikes. There are other differences compared to, the main differences of what I show you, there are other differences of how they are disassembled, almost come out in one piece. Um, the dampening rod lengths, the lengths are completely different, the spring lengths are different. Um, but yeah guys, other than that, the, the forks are, are closed cartridge forks, you are getting good value for your money um, and we're really excited to get these things dialed, tuned in to each individual rider. One thing I must add is that the shim stacks are completely different, pistons are different, hence the fork will work in a different way. So we busy testing different settings. Your, unfortunately, your old settings can't just transfer straight across. Um, but that's why we're here to, to do all that testing and development before you guys get the bike. So we know exactly what will work for you.